trap, bomb, a gun, dirt. A quick succession of events left no secret and found that. It was then that Yun and Ukita came rushing in one after another. Motosei looked at Anna's hands in surprise to see the black luster of a pistol. But Nasiko's surprise was incomparable to theirs. Why? Why would Professor Tsubakiyama have a gun? The stuff about Anna rapidly deepened. She didn't offer Nasiko much at all, and so you any help when they asked for her cooperation. Mashiro said that she wasn't opening her heart to them, but all that may have been true. It wasn't as if Nasiko had grown to hate Anna. In Nasiko's eyes, Anna was at times gentle, at times strict, and at times charming, an all-around good teacher. And yet, here she was, holding a pistol. She was completely different Anna from the one that Nasiko had known. Professor, what on earth are you? As soon as he had the thought, maybe he called the gruesome scene he saw earlier. No, no, no. Professor Tsubakiyama isn't a killer. As Nasiko shook off the doubt that played him for just a moment, Nikita and June. Prepared to interrogate Anna. Anna was shocked at the thought of Nasiko's murder. That isn't really helping your argument, to be honest. That sounded like a lazy excuse, but what to say to everyone to believe in her? Eventually, I thought it was a suggestion. I disassembled the gun and divided the parts between Yukita, Anna, and June. But that still didn't clean Nasiko's reservations. I remember this part in the A route where I had to make a census input. That was really, really difficult back then. Professor, as what to say, and you'll just move towards Area 6, which is after saw you. A somewhat lonely breeze blew through Nasiko's mind. By the time Nasiko finally got his mind of Anna, Watase was already alone in Area 6's inner ring. Watase was going room by room, searching for Sayu. Eventually, his eyes fell onto a certain PC monitor. Alright, this part, I forgot about about this part. Test subjects and the IGF to R gene type. Subject A, hereditary, IGF to R gene abnormality, type S, deceased. Subject N, hereditary, IGF to R gene abnormality, type S. Subject I. IGF2R Type 4 Showed no signs of genetic mutation via WX particles discarded. Uh, 
The reason I slowed down was because I was trying to think about what those letters meant. And somehow there's a second one, acquired IGF to R gene and abnormality type S, natural gene abnormality type C, discarding no precedent regarding releases, expected problems, memory recovery, etc. Observation targets and IGF to R gene type, special observation target, and a hereditary IGF to R gene abnormality type S. Special observation target, NA2 acquired IGF. To R gene abnormality type S, natural IGF to R gene abnormality type C, special observation target U. Is that supposed to be Yuri? IGF to R gene type 4, observation target AA, hereditary IGF to R gene abnormality type D, observation target MA. Hereditary IGF to R gene abnormality type B, MA level 5. Consider a radiation test. NA is subject N. April 7, 2021. And less on subject Y. Do you? That really sounds like the last one is Yuri. Maybe MA is Mashiro. This is way too suspicious. What is this? Subject? IGF to R gene? Observation target? No. More importantly, subject I U September 10th, 2030. September 10th. Yesterday everything started changing, wasn't it? What the hell is this file? What does any of this mean? At the same time, Nasika felt something off about some of the descriptors. A bizarre sight suddenly flickered in what is his brain. Quite disturbing. And those communicators that are being tested on? What? Well, his memories are coming back again? But why? What's bringing it back? The event took Nasiko by surprise, and one second later, what is they fled out of the room? What? Well, what the hell is he doing? For some reason? What is it was in complete disarray? His mind was whirling with rage and discomfort. And once again, past memories came back. That's why I erased I erased that memory. But the memory came bursting out nevertheless. We will 
it. What is a little third out of the stairwell? And right after that. The test subjects are dangerous. What got into him? As he goes left in confusion as that idea rose up inside of what to say. Don't tell me. Don't tell me that she was a test subject. Is that why reading the document provoked what to say's memories? As he go panicked and dove deeper into what to say's mind. What is this? It was clear that what to say was fearfully resisting the hatred. It was the thing within his mind. But the jet black hatred gradually corroded that fear, painting it out. The hatred then evolved further into murderous intent. If this keeps up, what does it will revert back to how he was back then? I need to do something about his memories. No, but then, considering the damage memory erasure inflicted upon what to say, any further memory erasure could very well kill him. Naturally, if Watase died, Nasiko would vanish. Then, what do I do? How can I seal Watase's hatred? Think, there has to be a way. Watase was scared of Yuri for some reason. He hated her and wanted to murder her. Even though normally he cared for her and tried to keep her safe. Each time his memories started to return, so too with his fear, hatred and murderous intent. In that case, why don't I just get a jump on what to say? And give him the misconception that she's already dead. I'm sure that would erase his fear of her. As well as his hatred and murderous intent. He didn't know if it would work. But if he left things as is, what to say could very well regain his memories, as he had no choice but to take answers for his plan. <laughs> So, does this, this explain the vision that what I say saw with Yuri with a gunshot in the middle of her forehead and only what I say saw? And this, Nasiko fabricated another memory for what I say. Five minutes later, what does he remain frozen on the spot, as if he were dead? Hey, how long do you plan to stay like that? You know, it's interesting to think about how these terrorists think that communicates are dangerous and monsters. And when you think about the fact that Nasiko is actively altering someone's memories and fabricating memories, Although I obviously did not agree with the terrorist methods, Nasiko kinda proves what to say right in this regard. Given my anxiety, Nasiko called out what to say. Oi, oi, oi.
What's I was shaken back by consciousness? By Nozico's voice? He then tottered back to the factory where everyone was waiting. Looks like it'd be best for me not to tamper with your memory any further than this. So please, what to say? Don't try to regain your memory anymore. Nasiko prayed. But the distortion caused by his actions was soon exposed. When Motosei reported Yuki's death to everyone, their eyes widened in shock. Bagara! Kanojo it all went downhill from there. Shtaiga, Nakunatu. Yare, yare. Genka could demo mitano deva nine okane. Honto nanda. Honto ni kokoni shtaiga. Atamaka, Chimonagaste. Don't meet them a sinde iru kanozuba. Chi? Dokoni mo keko nanka naiwa yo. Huh? Shit. How did they not see this coming? The problems kept piling on as Nasiko stood by, unable to do anything. It is gone. So no. So, do you see this kind of thing? Do you see that? It's clear. AD is the one who is in charge. そうだよ。そして犯人はきっと私たちの中にいる。いや、そんなことはありえない。俺たちの中に犯人なんていやしない。私はまたセイトクエフロンデアとデスベルデススペシエンス。イケンフェイスデフェイスウィズトゥース
The current world to say is a reliable rescue worker. And since I have no body of my own, I can save Saoyu or Yuri without his help. I need to do everything I can to clear this bastard of suspicion. He knew he had to, but he didn't know how. But right after that, someone completely unexpected stood up for what I say. なちなさい、二人とも。あなたたち、少しおかしいわよ。何なのよ。エディがなくなった途端、手のひら返したように。それがまともな人間のすること。No professor. If you stick up for what to say in the situation, you know and could tell glad that Anna. 今の話聞いて。どうして椿山さんは隊長の味方するのよく知りもしない他人でしょまさか二人はグルだったとかそうかなるほどどうりで行動がおかしいと思ったらようやく分かったぞ君たちは二人だけで助かろうというつもりなんだなエディを隠した